and salutations, my good friends. This is obviously Light Liger here, the one and only. And today we are going to be talking about Moon Swap and more precisely how to use it. And what exactly is Moon Swap? Well, it is the first AMM decks running on Ethereum Layer 2 supported by the Conflux Network. And there's a lot of other projects that are working on the Layer 2 solutions, but they haven't released their products. So Moonswap is an actual working product that you can use today. It's not a beta product. Everything is there fully functional and working. And in this video, as I said, I will be showing you everything you need to know about Moonswap and also how to use it. So let's get started with the actual extension. So obviously you will be needing some type of Web3 wallet, MetaMask, Nifty wallet, Saturn wallet, anything basically works there. And you need to get it in order to move the Ethereum or the Ethereum tokens into the layer two network, which is the Conflux. And you do need a Conflux portal extension, which is the one where you're gonna be keeping your uh, tokens on the Conflux chain, which is the layer two. One of the greatest benefits about the moon swap is that it is zero gas. So whenever you're going to be doing trades on the layer two, you will be paying zero in gas. Conflux will be paying everything for free and it's very high speed. So the actual transactions on the layer two side are confirming within 20 seconds or less. And let's get started. So the first thing we're going to be doing, obviously, is logging into our uh, Conflux extension. This works really similarly to MetaMask, so it's a very easy thing. So you're going to be choosing the actual address and we're going to be connecting and it will be asking us to connect to the Moonswap app in the Conflux network. And we're going to be accepting that. And now we're going to be redirected into the actual thing. And first, we're going to be jumping into the actual exchange screen. And this is where we can see the actual balances that we have on the actual Conflux network. So everything is named after C in the beginning. That is, you know, meaning Conflux. And I have certain moon here already, which is their native token, which you can get from farming. And then you obviously have C Ethereum and other things that we can also trade on the actual platform. And if I want to trade on the platform, I just choose the USDT and I can choose Moon. And I'm just going to be transferring two US dollars into C Moon, and it will basically swap. So here we can see the price impact and here we can see the liquidity free provider and also the route that is going through first through Ethereum and Seamoon. The route doesn't matter because there is no fees on the actual network. So that's not something we have to worry about. In Ethereum, for example, you do need to do that because the fees are taken from every route that is taken place. So now we're going to be swapping to USDT into 4.5 Moon in the current price. And we're going to be clicking swap. And now we're going to be getting an actual sign here, which is going to be giving us it. It will take a second to actually um, update it and it will be zero. As you can see, we will be paying nothing. So we'll be confirming this. And now the actual transaction will take place in the Conflux network. And as I said, it will probably take less than 30 seconds to it to go through. OK, the swap has already confirmed. We can now refresh again. And we can see actually it already updated before I refreshed. And now we see that the actual amount that we have of C Moon in my wallet has increased from what it was before. It was like 0.09 or something. And now it's 4.6. So the swap actually took place and it was confirmed. You can also click here and here we can see the connected sites and everything. And here you can see the contract interaction that just took place a minute ago. And we can click on here to view on Conflux scan and can see the actual transaction taking place on the blockchain. I have to say, I really like their interface here. A lot of the other blockchains that I've used in the past have really messy uh, block explorers. This is one of the better ones, maybe second to Etherscan. But here we can see all the transactions. Obviously, there is 
a fee on Conflux Ethereum, but the Conflux network is sponsoring all that. So they will be taking all the transactions and doing it for free. And let's get back into the, the interface. And if we want to pull something in, let's say we want to provide liquidity inside to the actual market, we can do it very easily. We can choose once again, CUSDT and we can use C moon. And let's say I'm gonna put some very small amount here, let's say three moon, and it will put the same input on the USDT in a second, or we can try it on the other way around. I think it will give us the wrong numbers. Okay, let's try again and put a tree here. And you are the first liquidity provider. Okay, so that means that if you are doing something like this, um, you will be getting 100% share of the pool. We're going to be doing that with Ethereum instead. I'm going to be putting this very small amount because that will give us the more accurate number. When you are doing a new pool, there's always risks involved in case will somebody else join the pool. And also it needs to be understood that there's also a lot of potential to make money when you want to be the first one because your share of the pool will be so big. And here, because we are providing such a low amount, our pool share will be only 0.01%. Um, and now we're going to be supplying it into the actual pool, waiting the actual notification to pop out. And we're going to be seeing once again, it's going to be updating the number in a second into zero. And now we're going to be confirming. And now we have in the next 15 seconds, provided the liquidity into the actual pool. And every time somebody is going to be doing transfer swaps into the pools, I will be getting portion of that money, um, portion to my share of the pool. So this is accruing as dividends, long as there's no impermanent loss. And obviously what people are wondering, how do I exactly move my Ethereum tokens and Ethereum into the layer two? So there is the wallet tab here on the actual exchange. And here we can use the deposit command in order to move your tokens or Ethereum into the Conflux network. And in same vein, when you want to move them back to the Ethereum chain, you click the withdraw. So in case I would want to withdraw my C moon back to the Ethereum, I would put the amount that I want to withdraw. And then I would put my Ethereum address here from MetaMask, from Atomic Wallet, from Trust Wallet, from Exodus, from Infinite Wallet, whatever it may be to here. Obviously, there is a gas fee attached to uh, these transactions and there's also minimum withdrawal amount. So this is very important when you're going to be playing with MoonSwap. It is really recommended to put out a trade amount that is big enough to make it worth because the actual gas fee attached to um, this deposit or the withdrawal is going to be something that is going to be losing you money in case you're going to be just dropping very small sums. So here you can see the actual gas fee is 10 moon in order to make the moon transfer from the Conflux network into the Ethereum. And that is because they are doing cross-chain transfers and those can cost quite a lot in Ethereum gas fees. But when the transactions happens inside the Conflux network, the actual transactions took a lot less um, gas, obviously. I mean, basically zero for you at least. And obviously the deposit system is pretty uh, similar. I deposited $20 of USDT earlier. So what you have to do is you click this address and you copy it and then you go into your Web3 wallet. In this case, I'm using Saturn wallet. And here I can use to move my token into this address, this specific address. Each of the token may have a different address here. Um, let's actually confirm that in case we um, we're sending. I think they're going to be all the same. Let's see Ethereum as well. The Ethereum seems to have some type of a network error as of right now, but you can actually deposit all the other ones apparently into the network. So in case you have something, you're going to be copying this address and you're going to be clicking send or whatever you have in your actual currency, sorry, in your wallet, and you're going to be choosing the amount and then you're going to be just sending it and it will take around 8 15 minutes as they say in order to transfer it into the network remember they do have a minimum deposit for these so do not send anything less than this that is shown in the screen 
otherwise your transaction will be lost. And this is very important to understand. And here are all the actual supported currencies as of right now in the exchange. And I'm sure the Ethereum tab will be coming back online as I'm making this video. It is not available as of right now. But then again, you don't really need Ethereum in this moon swap because you can trade it. So if you want to get Ethereum, you just get the USDT and swap it into Ethereum. And let's say we're going to be transferring to USDT and we're going to be moving that into the Ethereum and voila, we're going to be doing the swap once again and we will be getting the pop out in a second as we can see then we're going to be waiting till the gas amount is going to be changing the zero again and then we're going to be clicking confirm and we'll be getting that ethereum to trade in the actual platform so basically because the fees are very low on the platform and you don't pay anything in gas it doesn't really matter even if like nine out of ten Oh, the deposits would be off because you can still trade them for the other tokens as long as there is the minimum amount of liquidity. So I don't need to send Ethereum. I can just send the USDT and trade it in the actual swapping progress, swapping platform. And next up, we're going to be looking into the actual pools, which are provided in Conflux, also in Ethereum. And then they have basically the basic farm as well. So here I can see my own Sea Moon balance. And we can go back to the boarding tab and go clicking farm. And here I can see that I have some Sea Moon farmed here because I have provided Sea Moon Ethereum pair into the actual LP pool. So the liquidity pools will provide you LP tokens. In the, in this one, they are called MLP. And this will basically harness you some tokens. In this case, it's Sea Moon. And we're going to be collecting this Sea Moon. It's very easy. You will be getting it in real time. And you're going to be once again waiting for a couple of seconds for the Conflux network actually popping out. And once again, we're going to be waiting that three seconds until the gas fee goes down. And now we can actually claim the Sea Moon that has been accumulating through the night. Uh, and you can use this many times as you want because or every second because there is no gas fee on the Moonswap network, on the Conflux network. So you don't have to worry about that. And there's also the Ethereum um, side of these things. You need to connect your Ethereum wallet. So you need MetaMask here or Wallet Connect. Because I have my Saturn wallet, it will recognize it as uh, Ethereum wallet. I can access it that way as well. And here you can migrate your liquidity to the Moonswap. And we'll be um, doing that, harvesting it for automatically. And there are any different types of pools here from Ethereum, which you can migrate easily from Sushi. They got different types of pairings here, but it's much more recommended that you're going to be doing obviously everything on the Conflux side of things. So backing into the Conflux thing here, you can see all the APY on all of the actual farms. So if I want to provide CUSDT, CF, and he, then when we have the actual LP tokens as we have provided, you just click approve for, uh, you know, so you, so you can provide to the actual pools. You gotta be well, once again waiting for the couple of seconds. And I do wanna remind people that pools and farming is high risk. There's always risk involved in this type of a thing because it's very expensive and you may lose money uh, in this type of a thing if the actual token is a losing price in a long term. Obviously, the Sea Moon pool had a very crazy APY in the beginning. Now it has slowed down quite a lot. And obviously, the price was also very high. But I think once the actual farming period ends, that's where the real value of Sea Moon is going to be happening. They also have an airdrop tab, which we're going to be looking into a second. And when we once we have the actual MLP tokens, all you need to do is click the plus button and here provide the amount and then you're going to be confirming and then you will be uh, gathering that C moon over the time. And very last thing we're going to be looking into this video is the airdrop thing. So what you have to do basically is move and use all the actual pools that are on this Conflux tab and provide liquidity to all of them. It can be a very low amount uh, to my understanding. 
and then you can actually claim the airdrop here and get the FC reward. I'm not sure what this FC one is, but um, you at least get some C moon as well. But that's pretty much my rundown of moon swap. There are a lot of other guides, a lot of tutorials in their website. You can read all of this in their medium page, telegrams, all of that can be found out about the tokenomics and etc. But this is a real working product that has layer two working from start to finish and no problems whatsoever I have really witnessed on the platform so far. And also one of the good things about the whole system is that 0.25 goes in the directed LPs and 0.05 will be used to buy moon from Moonswap and this will be destroying the moon as will be basically making a deflating token. So this means that there's a buyback process which increases the price and also it will long term increase its price once it has been mined down and it just keeps deflating from that point onwards. But thanks for watching. You can find all the important information about Moonswap down below. And I will see you guys on the next video, whenever it may be. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.